Looking over Daffodil Hill at Lakeview Cemetery, there are more than 150,000 flowers blooming there. Daffodils signify the Earth's rebirth after the long winter. And we really mean long. <laughs> Did I say it was long? <laughs> but Jason, you have a warm up in the forecast. That sounds nice. I do have a much welcomed warm up in this forecast here, but today was just absolutely stunning. No matter, no matter how you look at it, it was a beautiful day. We peaked just under 50 degrees. We tried our best, didn't we? 58 is the average. 37 is where we began the morning, so we're just two degrees shy of the average low, low temperature. This is where we last left off because we're beginning quite a change here in Northeast Ohio. We we'll have to take the good with the bad. Well, yes, we're going to have warmer temperatures, but also we're going to have some wet weather moving through as well with a few isolated thunderstorms possible. A series of lows will kick things off for tomorrow, and that's going to carry us through the better portion of the week. We first have to deal with this warm front, so that is what I'm calling troublemaker number one because it's going to cause the atmosphere to be quite unstable to start off the week for tomorrow, and then a cold front would be moving through thereafter, so we'll have a kind of a slice and dice of the pie happening over the next 24 hours. Here's where are the warm areas right now. The warm air is surging northward, and it's likely going to have a ridge moving on into the region as well. We'll kick things off here, starting with your national design more hour by hour forecast temperatures warming throughout the night. Okay, so not as cool as what we are right now. First wave of energy comes in just after about 5 a.m. for our western counties and then moves across uh, the uh, Cleveland Metro around 6 30 7 a.m. for tomorrow. We'll have some hit and miss shower activity happening for tomorrow. High noon. Some people will be in the low 50s. Some people will be in the mid to upper 50s and some people will likely be in the lower 60s as well. The cold front has not moved through yet. Okay, we're still elevated in our temperatures and also elevated in terms of instability for tomorrow as well. More rumbles and rain are likely into the later evening and also the overnight hours. We kind of turn things off just a little bit as we open up the day for us on Tuesday. Again, cold front moves through for tomorrow night. We have our temperatures back in the 30s for the most part and perhaps even low 40s for others. Rainfall accumulations over the next 24 to 36 hours, so kind of be a little bit all over the map. We'll have some isolated showers leading towards perhaps even a two tenths or three tenths of an inch, and then we'll have some elevated amounts likely nearing an inch or so as well further down south. Kind of depends on where the energy is going to kind of train over at one period of time. So let's look at the week ahead, okay? So this is the first low that comes through to, for tomorrow. Notice that cut is likely not going to be as deep in terms of the trough bringing in colder air. We'll have another area low move through midweek Tuesday heading into its Wednesday, but looks what's building out, out left or at least out west. More tropical, unstable air is moving in Wednesday through Thursday. Widespread rain and perhaps even more rumbles expected on Wednesday. The cut goes even deeper into the Ozarks, but I think for the most part, it will not be as chilly as what we're used to here in Northeast Ohio. By Thursday, heading in towards Friday, things begin to dry out. And that's great news, at least for the gardens opening day. Your Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. We peak in terms of our warm air for Wednesday. Come back down just a little bit on, on behind the uh, last low that moves through Thursday. Drier conditions for the gardens on Friday. Near average upper 50s, mid 50s stray shower on Saturday. Easter Sunday, a little bit wet, Lena, but not quite as chilly. Back into the upper 40s, even low 50s for this time next week. All right, not bad. Love it. Thanks so much, Jason.